you haven't seen the Athletics anonymous player poll that was published today, uh, talk about a, a heck of a, a, a kind of dichotomy. Tom Thibodeau has his team playing well in the first round of the playoffs. I think probably will get some second level coach of the year votes has done a great job this season, but according to NBA players everywhere, the, the 108 who we talked to for the poll, like far and away the coach you would least like to play for, but Fred, he's doing something right. Um, and, and these Knicks are in a good spot. What are you seeing? Well, he's Tibbs is a maniac. I think mm-hmm. Tibbs will be the first person to tell you that. Um, this is a direct quote from Tibbs. Winning is more fun than fun is fun. <laughs> that is an exact Tibbs quote. It's an amazing <laughs> quote. And it's so on brand, but it makes sense. Look, part of putting this team together and part of the reason that they're good is because they've made a conscious effort to go get guys who are Tibbs guys. You know, uh, they traded for Josh Hart knowing that you know how they say, oh, that she's a mother and she just doesn't have a child yet. Josh Hart was a Tibbs guy and he just didn't have Tibbs yet. Like it was everybody knew that Josh Hart would just fit in perfectly. And those are the types of personalities, those sorts of gritty, play hard, try hard guys that they've tried to put together. Quentin Grimes likes playing for Tibbs because he likes playing for a really hard playing coach. And the most important one is Jalen Brunson who, uh, you know, one of the big reasons that Brunson signed with the Knicks was because he wanted to play for Tibbs because his his dad played for Tibbs when Tibbs was an assistant coach with the Knicks in, in the 90s and early 2000s. And uh, Jalen Brunson has known Tibbs since he was like literally five years old and, and wanted to play for him. And Brunson is a very Tibbsy sort of guy in that he'll be unable to walk and still do whatever he can to try to take a charge. So They've put together a lot of those personalities. They're really gritty. They play really hard. I thought it was really telling that basically all of the Cavaliers post-game comments after game one were, well, they came out really physical. We didn't realize you could be so physical and be able to get away with it. We have to be more physical in game two. It's like, that's what the Knicks are. And that's what the playoffs are. And you mesh those two together. And they're if they're going to win, it's because they're trying to beat the crap out of you on both sides. They just play a really physical brand of ball.